Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? I can't tell if I'm live now or not. Oh, I guess I am. Hello. Red lights on, uh, everything's on. Hello everyone, how you doing tonight? I hope everybody's doing well. So let's check sound, sound seems to, to be well, okay. All right, sound as well, five by five. And we have got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna start with the bad because why not? But then I'm gonna balance it out with some good. All right. Well, hello, butterflies. How you doing? Um, did you see the title? Yeah, this is exactly what I'm thinking. This is Kathleen Kennedy's contract has been signed and renewed for three more years. What does this mean? Well, I hope that it doesn't mean that uh, we're actually going to get uh, a lot more bad Star Wars. That's what I'm hoping it doesn't mean. But I should know better. The Book of Boba Fett looks promising. Of course, Kathleen Kennedy didn't greenlight that. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, she greenlit. The the Obi Wan Kenobi series, she greenlit that. I'm I'm still a little on the fence about that. Um, let's see, what else is in the pipeline? We still got. St yeah. Um, hello, Rebel Railroad Productions. It's good to see you. Um. Where was I? Oh, yeah. The, uh, what else is it? Uh, the High Republic. Oh, don't even get me started with the Star Wars, the high on their own farts republic. Nobody wants to read about Leox Gayassi and his co-pilot, Geode. Piloting the vessel. Yeah, you heard me right. The vessel. Ah, it's an abomination of whatever used to be creative and awesome about Star Wars. Has just taken an epic dump on everything. Star Wars, the high on its own parts republic is just... Oh, it's bad. And... I was thinking about, uh, actually playing a little bit, but, uh, mm. I caught that throat. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, I'm not worried about it, but I'm pretty sure you've earned that, br that drink. You're probably going to need it, especially talking about the future of Star Wars. Especially if Kathleen Kennedy has her forces female feminist hands into it. Does anybody know if that, uh, that, sh let's see, we got the, the Patty Jenkins, uh, Directed thing. I forget what that is, but uh Oh yeah, Rogue Squadron. I'm not I'm not sure. Patty Jenkins has been hit or miss. Especially if anybody's seen uh Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four. Of course I don't think she wrote that. I think she directed that. 
Or did she or did she both direct and write that? I'm confused. Uh yeah, I I get my facts confused sometimes. So humor me, so sometimes I even need correcting. I don't, well. Let's see. I don't know. That 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 makes a lot of sense, Rebel Railroad Productions. Even though that's kind of a little mean spirited, but yeah, I get it. It's a little sick and twisted, but it's funny. Um, yeah, it still doesn't mean they have to beat a beat a dead horse a thousand times with uh, the these this franchise it's just terrible uh, but apparently anyways the uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi series is a canon so maybe we could possibly enjoy it according to Lucasfilm it's not canon but that still begs the question like should we watch it like I mean it's bringing back uh, Hayden Christensen and uh, Ian McGregor, respectively. I mean, I know not everybody's a fan of the the uh, the prequel trilogy, but they're more so now than they were before because it was still George Lucas. I mean. I think a lot of people let that laurel rest now. Now that they consider what they, they're they getting now, it's just... It's a whole different... whole grim juxtaposition. A whole different outlook. Yeah, there's no... Hey, Neopool. Like, I like the prequels. The prequels were okay. They're... I didn't mind the politics in them. That's what a lot of people... A lot of people hated about it. And I'm like, no. That's, that's the way they were all the time. There were always politics in Star Wars. You just had to look. When they brought in the Emperor, that's when it started. Which was Empire Strikes Back. That's when you realized they were under a galactic empire. And they were talking about Old Republic stuff and that's that's basically what they were doing. They were trying to set up the lore. And people act like I did. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. I know exactly what I'm talking about. But, yeah, it's, uh, we, we got a, has anybody watched the new, uh, Star, um, Star Wars, uh, not Star Wars, but, uh, Spider-Man Far From, um, No Way Home trailer? 
it yeah it just dropped like earlier today it looks like it has just about like every single villain from every <coughs> oh excuse me Peter Parker so far Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has uh, parallels to uh, World War II, respectively, um, Rebel Railroad. I'm pretty sure of that. Because even the old... Uh... Even the... Uh... Even the fightings, the uh... starship scenes in... in Star Wars are like watching old World War II footage. Kind of reminds me of the old dogfights in the planes. Only a lot faster. Oh, shit. Yes, I'm actually playing this live. I just don't have any sound on it while I'm actually talking. What? So how is everybody doing? I hope you're, do you're all doing well. And somebody's got some. Let's see. Yeah, I don't like I'm a bit... I like Spider-Man. I don't... Spider-Man... I've always loved the Tobey Maguire Spider-Mans. Like, I'm even one of those guys that'll defend uh, Spider-Man 3. And Spider-Man 2. But even when he went, like, dark Peter Parker and did that whole dance thing. and I thought... I thought it was a way to show that... I understood it. I don't, I, I, I kind of look at it now and I'm like, yeah, this is kind of bad, but it's like one of those guilty pleasure things, you know, like, you know, it's bad, but you, it's like a train wreck. You just kind of, you want to look away, but you can't. Yeah, it's one of those things. Yeah. Oh, you live in a city with street racers too? Yeah. There's all kinds of that going on. Some, uh... Yeah, I've had it too. I've, like, I'm at my wit's end. About the, about the time they fired Gina Carano is when I just, like, really stopped paying attention. Like, that was kind of dumb. She didn't deserve that at all. Like, people have said worse on the internet to fans. And she didn't even say anything to fans. It was more of a, more of a look at what the world was going towards and she just happened to get the bad end of the stick there but she's doing good now she's got a movie deal outside of Lucasfilm so good for Gina Carano She's doing good for herself. Yes, and I still say I stand with Gina Carano. 
Yep, exactly, Rebel Railroad Productions. Skip, woke, go broke. More like disrespect canon. I dis I respectfully I disrespectfully w withdraw my money. No more money from me. Like I even felt bad about buying like Star Wars even got like a deal with a uh, Dr. Squatch. I like I kind of even felt bad about that because I bought the bars. Like I I felt guilty about that. I'm like Jesus. But the Darth Maul one had had a dragon fruit smell. I'm like, yeah, I can't. Never felt smelt dragon fruit on a soap bar before. I know. I don't. I I don't live in California. I don't. We don't get those cool ass smells. And I probably went the wrong direction. They're probably going to. Yeah, that's where I was talking about the good there. I was going to get to that uh, um, Rebel Railroad Productions. I was going to get to that in a minute. Here in probably about another 10, 15 minutes or so. Maybe, maybe sooner. Oh, what the hell. Might as well. Um, we have a... Yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife is coming out in two days. What is it? It is still, when, it is still uh, Tuesday, right? I believe it's still Tuesday. Let me check. I'm probably going to get hit or something, but... Yep, still Tuesday on my clock. Um, yeah, sometimes I just lo lose total track of time. Like, yesterday, I didn't even know what freaking day it was. Yeah, that's why I didn't stream yesterday, because I had no clue what day it was. Like, I completely lost track of time. No, I don't know about Dixie Cali. <coughs> I don't know if I can get away with actually saying what I what they are actually on YouTube. I believe I've seen a lot of in chat um California. But now that I think about it, um, yeah, that's kind of the way this whole nation's going. If uh, if everything keeps up and the way the way it's going, I, I mean, with this Kyle Rittenhouse trial going on, yeah, if he if he goes to jail, it it'd be like now you cannot defend yourself. That's what they're telling us. Like, that's what this trial is telling us. I don't know if anybody else is seeing that. Maybe I'm just batshit crazy. I don't know. But, of course, I've always been labeled a little nuts. But, usually I had a reason. Ah, uh, yeah. But that's, that's the way it, that's kind of how the world is right now I should probably just not mix my politics with my uh, channel now that I think about it put it elsewhere like on another channel 
I mean, I'm giving it to you straight. Like, that's kind of what I see in it. I'm not going to lie. Lying doesn't get anybody anywhere. Well, that's cool, Re um, Rebel Railroad. Could I oh, thanks. Let's see. Yeah. I purposely turned down the sound so I don't have to have, like, double the sound. I'm surprised I'm doing half as good without the sound. Uh-oh. Like, usually I have the sound blasting. But... Now, that's Ghostbusters Afterlife. I'm I'm actually excited. They're going they're bringing back um, Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd for this. I don't know if they're getting the rest of the the rest of the cast. I don't know if Rick Moranis signed back on for it. I know he he took a break because of his wife dying to take care of his kid, but that's probably the main reason he's not going to sign on. He's he's going to con he's concentrating on being a dad and bully on him. That's awesome. That is just absolutely awesome. Ooh. I just realized I rely on aim a lot. Looking down my sights. And it's like I notice things when I'm like, don't have the sound on. Yeah, I'd be I'd be cool to actually have a if RM RM Could you reiterate on that uh Rebel Railroad Productions RM as in like Robert Meyer as in like Robert Meyer Burnett. I don't, I'm not following. Rick, oh, okay, okay. Rick Moranis, yeah. Yeah, but he he made a big uh, character shift in uh, Ghostbusters 2 where he... I like his character arc in Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm a sucker for the geek transformation. You know what I mean? Zero to hero kind of thing. Like, I'm, I like Marvel, like some Marvel superheroes. I like Spider Man. But DC, I like Batman. And Marvel, I like The Punisher. I like Daredevil. And there's a reason why those three are like, and I'm, I, I'm going to explain myself. Just give me a minute. Um, here it comes. Um, the whole, 
the thing with those three, they're just human. They're human. They're human that just happen like Daredevil. He just happened to have uh, something sp like something splashed in his eye or whatever, or something happened to his eyes. He went blind. And everybody knows that, but not to that level, that once you uh, go bl like blind that way, that uh, most of your other senses intensify. That's what that that is based off of. And that's what makes daredevil relatable like he used to hear or I mean he used to see he knows what it's like to see Batman okay on Batman just a rich guy with a bunch of gadgets and some detective skill like serious detective skill that's the long and the short of Batman but still that doesn't see most of my heroes are just average people Punisher, Frank Castle, just a dude with a lot of military experience and a lot of guns to back it up. He's just a badass, pure and simple. That's, that's Frank Castle in a nutshell. And I believe those three, that's what makes them relatable. That they were human. They are human. They are more human than the most. They don't need to not look human. They are human. But it's their brains, their intellect, their survivability their their know-how that actually gets them where they are in our collective hero minds in our collective nerd minds as heroes like you don't need superpowers You just need you just need to live through some circ um, some crazy circumstances like fucking Lemony Snicket series of unfortunate events that's okay now how did I get into that it's it, okay I'm gonna explain yeah I got to a lot of things that are just weird and odd but those kids in those books survived a lot things that normal people would never probably never have survived Yes, Parrot Head. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Parrot Head, do you know if uh, Sigourney Weaver signed on for uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife? 
I didn't hear much of anything about Sigourney. I hope so. Like, I even hear some people calling it, like, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Stranger Busters Afterlife. Which I don't get. I, I, I get it, and I don't get it, because... Okay, it has some actors from Stranger Things. whoop de doo they, they chose those actors or because they're good at what they do. I like it when they choose actors that are good at what they do than when they do it for brownie points or virtue signal points or diversity points. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Like, if you're just filling a diversity bar, you're not getting quality. You're getting forced diversity is what you're getting. Oh, that was luck. Before you can even go off to heal. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, Tom is actually uh, doing something right now. I think he's, uh, on, uh, yeah, I think they're doing a show right as we speak. But that's the way. That's the way things are now. And I don't like it. Nobody likes it. I'm about to turn up the volume here. And I don't care if I die because I'm about done with my uh Wave eleven. What? Yeah, I don't like the way it's going. Is that still too loud? Give me a double check on the uh, audio. That way, uh that way I know where to set this. on the back. Loud, it sounds fine. Now that I turn the volume up on the on the game, it's fine. Okay. Good. Now I know where to set it. This one's tenacious. Yeah, it's the first time I've actually tried to play and talk at the same time. So, like, make a point. Hail Parrot Head. And she's back up. See it? Mrs. Foster presents her introductions. Damn flush pounds. Another flush pound. Lovely. Sounds like maybe two. Yeah, that's kind of why I like the characters that I like. 
Underground it is, then. And Doctor Strange. I forgot to add Doctor Strange. I like Doctor Strange. Well, yeah, again. Because he's just a normal dude. He was a surgeon. He just happened to... Actual doctor. Just head to the pod. You got lucky. Uh, just a regular dead. dude that Good just enough. happened to find some some forgotten knowledge. Kind of like, oh, I don't know. Sounds pretty Lovecraftian, don't you think? Finding some knowledge out of some old books sounds Lovecraftian to me. I don't know about you, you ladies and gentlemen, but like what it sounds like really? from my end. T minus ten seconds until your death. Can I make it to that pistol over here? Oh this, yeah, okay. But made it. it comes anyways. Ammo, if you want it. Yeah. You got school. Yeah, he wasn't okay. born with those powers. He was taught. Slasher time. Did I keep your interest? Your day. Yeah, exactly. He was a world class surgeon. How dead you are. But he's still a human guy. Mrs. Foster? That's what I'm saying. Are All these characters that I like are humans. Please to make your acquaintance. They are people that just what? happen to have this things happen. Spider-Man. He started out as a regular high school student. Just this happened to get bit is. by a spider. Some radioactive spider. And we got Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And that's what makes if you want something done right. Did I keep your Go to the pod. Yeah, that's the way it went. Uh. Not that it will matter. You'll still die. You lived. I'm not impressed. I'm disgusted. Yeah, he, um... Uh, yeah, he tried everything conventional medicine, Anyone but, uh... Doctor Strange did, but, uh... You're right, Parrothead. They had to, uh... And then he started to look into the dark, uh... The dark magics and things. You know holes in your armor are bad, right? And then he ended up being uh, the Sorcerer Supreme in the long run. Down. The key, the yeah, key bearer of the multiverse, out. basically. And I think that's what that's what they're gonna do. 
That's what they're gonna do in Far From or No Way Home, I believe. Because if they're gonna have all those different Peter Parkers all on one screen and all those villains all in one screen, they have to add Doctor Strange. Which we know Benedict Cumberbatch has already been confirmed for Star War or uh, Spider Man. Got fucking Star Wars on the brain. Oh shit. Okay. This one's to know. If you want something done right. That's a flash bound. Shit. You got school. There's something cloaked. Yeah, more, Mrs. Foster. That was kind of rough. There's something. Now, where was I? Yeah. It's even in the trailer. That most of the trailers practically reveals it anyway. Parker won't keep uh, Parker won't keep his Foster mouth shut. Doctor Strange. While Doctor Strange casting a spell to, to fix part of the timeline and, or jump into a timeline. And is open. Spend your dosh and shut up. Doctor Strange gets mad at Spider Man and kinda messes up the spell. But that's that's the way it's gonna go. That's what's gonna make all these villains and everything pop up. And it just creates a Pod closing soon. Hurry it starts manipulating so into the multiverse. Which puts all all the Spider Mans in, in all those different Spider Mans and Spider Vill villains that we see in the trailer. Parrothead, do you think you could find that trailer? I think it's already dropped on YouTube. If you could, that'd be awesome. Let's call for guns and bullets. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm solid right now. Wait for team. Oh yeah. That's a siren. A baritone sir. And no, I wasn't told any of this. I'm just going this off the top of my head. Gosh, how dead you are. I'm going from what I remember in the comics. Don't break your arm, patting yourself on the back. Like some of my first comics I ever bought were Doctor Strange comics. I happened to get lucky and uh, at a flea market and this dude was selling a whole bunch of Doctor Strange. I must have bought like 15, 20 comics off of this dude. Like he said, he said, I'll make you a deal. You bought so many, I'll give you 40 